that is a personal with me. Zap at some point had reached out and is like, hey, don't you want to work for Click? I'm like, nope. I love you guys. I know what a startup company takes. The time commitment, the energy commitment. I am not in a position that I want to give up my own business. And I would need to give up my own business to be able to give you all the things you deserve for me as an employee. And I definitely would have had stock options at that point. So I might regret that here at some point, but it's, it's my personal value that was like, I've been self-employed for the last, I don't even know. I would age myself at this point, probably at least 20 years. Um, it also brings certain boundaries with itself being an employee of that company where I tested something on YouTube. ClickUp didn't necessarily like it. It was a little bit edgy on the thumbnail that I used. They reached out to me. They asked me to take it down. I did take it down because I completely understood where they were coming from. But in my position, first of all, yeah, you can it's a 1099. You can, you could fire me at any given point, but it's not as much a risk as if I'm an employee where I can play with things. I can test things on YouTube. I can test things on messaging without having to go through five, 10 different potential layers of management. It is more of a freedom with me being a 1099 and having that distance between the brand ClickUp and me, and that that distance is non-public. Yeah, I'm the ClickUp girl. Yes, I'm the startup evangelist, but everybody knows I am not an employee of ClickUp. And it's it's just that balancing act 